All right, so time is running out to catch a new stage production at uh, Portland Center Stage. Laura Weedman, Lauren Weedman actually doesn't doesn't live here anymore. Closes on Sunday. Cassidy Quinn is at the theater and uh, with the star of the show, Cassidy. Oh yes, Brian. The show starts in a few minutes at 7:30. We have, of course, the star of the show getting ready. We are in her dressing room, Lauren Weedman. Thank you for letting us. Inside here. I let anybody in. I have no oh, boundaries. I felt so special until oh, the sorry. exact moment. Oh, sorry. No, it does, it does matter. You have to be somewhat of a professional as you are. <laughs> now you're doing a solo show. You've done a lot of solo shows, one woman shows. What yeah. is the preparation like? Is there things going through your mind right now? Um, I, like I see, I know that you're talking to me. Like I know we're looking at each other right now, but I don't, you know what I mean? I'm not really here. I okay. am in my head and I'm thinking, um, ticket sales, money, money, money. I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I'm usually, Curling my hair, yeah, and doing um, some like preparation, deep breathing, that oh. kind of stuff, you know, so I can uh, give it my all. And I'm always a little uh, uh, giddy before the show. I right. could probably learn some things, you know, getting ready for our live shots, do those Well, you, do you have to do that too, right? I mean, you have to like, you know, God, we're going on. Exactly. <laughs> okay, like, you know, mine's How not. How did you know? But, well, <laughs> I'm just assuming the red eyes and the vacant stare. I'm just kidding, not from you, me. Yeah, no, never. Uh, this show is a little different from other solo shows you've done because it is music based, so how does that work? It is, um, I have other people in that show. So normally, um, which is, but you don't see them. I hide them behind the, um, a scrim in case uh, musicians are off-putting for some people. Kind of a selling point for me, but they, uh, it's, 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 lot, the, it's got a lot of energy, the show. It's got a lot of, I mean, I guess it always, they usually do, but this one especially has some Loretta Lynn songs in it, some, um, uh, God, what else am I doing in it? There's, it's, it's not all music though. It's, I am, there's a lot of, you know, talking and stories and, um, uh, dancing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Do you play a lot of different characters? Yeah, I play 700 different characters. 700? Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Fact. Yeah, 725 actually, 725 characters. So. Why do you love doing one woman shows so much? Because it's easier to get everybody organized when it's just one person. That's one thing is I don't have to worry about. Mm -hmm. um, Everyone and, can get there at the same time. Exactly. It's just one. And I'm a cheap date, you know, because I'm like, it's just me. Um, of course, the musician's here. But uh, I like it because I, I can't, you know, the, the real reason is because I like to not be able to blame anybody. Do you know what I mean? So I know if I'm in a show and if I don't like a scene or if I'm, I can't ever blame the playwright. I can't be like, man, this show is, oh, it's dragging. Or like, who, the, the scene is so, you know, has nothing to it. I can't, I, it's me. So I like the idea of it all being on myself. I think it makes me step up a little bit. Otherwise, I get lazy and I start blaming everybody. Where I'm like, sorry about the play, but mm, he's an alcoholic. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I always have ways to sort of not fully, I don't know, step mm -hmm. up. And this is, I found this to be the way to do that. And it is the world premiere of this show. So does it yes. change as it's every, going on? Yes, every night it's been changing. Um, uh, yes, that's what I like about solo theater too, is I can rewrite it and I don't throw anybody. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not gonna, the other actors aren't gonna be like, now what is she saying? I mean, the stage manager, I mean, she may have that, but I hit my cues and it's not, it's, people always ask me like how much percentage of it is improv. And um, I would say maybe it's, I don't know, 40%, 30%, oh, wow. something like that. And maybe I'm saying that to make it sound more exciting than it is, but. It's, a, it's always a little, I like to keep it fresh, keep it fresh. Yeah. yeah. It sounds very exciting. Thank you so much again for letting us into the dressing room. Again, the show starts in just a few minutes. Lauren Weedman yeah. does not live in this dressing room and doesn't live here anymore is the name of the show. It is here at Portland Center Stage until Sunday. Still want to curl your hair. Yeah, oh it's still Sunday. <laughs> do you think, I know, just one curl right How many more minutes do I have to stay? One my country curl. curl right here. Let, let her curl like your hair, Cassidy. That's great. That I'm like responsible for something. I don't know. Yes, we'll stay here till the end of your show, Brian, and just uh, I'll look like a new woman. All right, thanks so much, Cassidy. <laughs>